Hi everybody, it's Linda. Welcome back to You Tips For You. Well today I want to answer a question for you in this video and it's a question I've gotten a lot and it's whether or not hot water is good to wash your hair with. Um, and it's a good question too because we know that washing our skin with hot water opens our pores, lets all the oil and debris out and really cleans our skin. So why wouldn't it be good for our hair too, right? Well, it actually is good to wash your hair with hot water because it opens up your pores and it lets all the dirt and the oil out. It does do those things, but it can also do some harm to your hair. So while it's great for your scalp and for your pores, it actually dries out your hair. It pulls moisture out of your hair shaft and it can actually leave your hair more porous. and it's moisture in the hair shaft that helps prevent frizzing. Too much hot water will cause frizzing. If you wash your hair in hot water, and I know it feels great to be in a hot shower, and then you come out and you comb your hair or you brush your hair, and you should never brush your hair after you wash it because it is much more prone to breakage and damage that way. Always use a comb, a wide tooth comb, or a wet brush to carefully um, comb out your hair. But if you've used hot water on your hair, your hair is much more susceptible to breakage as you're you know, styling it and combing it. So what about cold water? And I get that question as well. And in my how to properly wash your hair video, I show you a really great technique on how to wash your hair. Um, and it's not under the shower, it's by using a handheld shower. I'll post that video below and I talk about a cold water rinse for your hair. Cold water is really good for your hair. Cold water will close the cuticle and cause the hair to retain the moisture. So after you condition your hair, now the cold water helps seal that in. So a cold water rinse, when you're all done, after you've rinsed out your conditioner, is very beneficial to your hair. It helps calm your hair, it helps bring shine to your hair, and it helps close your pores and the cuticle of your hair. Now by closing the pores, you are actually protecting your pores from dirt and oils, you know, and products that you use on your hair. They're not getting into your pores because now you've closed your pores. So while it's great to open them when you're washing because you're getting out all the oils and the dirt and debris and product and you really do want to wash your hair um, with warm water, but not hot water, warm water. And that's what you should use on your hair, warm, because you want that opening to, to occur but you don't want to get the damage that you can get from over drying that you can get from the hot water. And then when you're all done shampooing and you condition your hair, I always recommend that you leave the conditioner on um, at least three minutes because you really want that conditioner to get into the hair shaft and um, you know your hair to draw it right in. And then you rinse it out with lukewarm water and then you give it a nice cold rinse doesn't have to be long, but just, you know, your whole head, close those pores on your scalp and close the, the porousness of your hair shaft and retain the moisture in the hair shaft. Your hair will be much healthier that way. It'll be much stronger too. So when you go to comb it, you go to brush it, it'll have some strength to it, tensile strength, so it can resist breakage um, and styling and pulling and anything else you might do to it. You want your hair to be as strong as it possibly can, whereas the heat, the hot, will you know, weaken it. It can weaken your roots. It causes a frizz. So if you're trying to eliminate frizz out of your life, then think cold. Cold, just like in the winter months, cold flattens your hair. The cold will flatten your hair and it will remove the frizz from the equation. It's just kind of like when you're done styling, then you hit the cold, uh, you hit your hair with the cold setting of your blow dryer. That will now kind of just seal your hair and prevent some frizzing from occurring. So remember, wash your hair with warm water, open up those pores, clean it nicely and shampoo it, and don't forget to massage your scalp a little while you're doing it. Bring some, some circulation to the area. 
rinse it all out, condition your hair, and then don't forget that cold rinse because the cold is great. It'll seal everything, it'll make it shine, and it brings blood to the area too because it opens up the capillaries in the scalp and that feeds your the roots of your hair, it feeds your pores, and you know that's where the hair grows from. It grows from you know the roots and you want to take care of that. You don't want to abuse that. Okay, so I hope this video helped clarify um, a question that's always that I do get out there, and I hope you found it helpful and informative. And please subscribe because I have a lot more to come. Something of interest to everyone. And please visit me at my blog where I do a lot of writing, and I'm also on Facebook and Twitter, so we can stay connected there as well. Okay, well, thanks so much for viewing. Bye bye now. Now take some bobby pins. I think you'll probably need two or three and place them on that little piece that you just rolled